when it is finally ours, this freedom, this liberty, this beautiful and terrible thing, needful to man as air, usable as earth, when it belongs at last to all, when it is truly instinct, brain matter, diastole, systole, reflex action, when it is finally won, when it is more than the gaudy mumbo jumbo of politicians. This man, this Douglas, this former slave, this Negro beaten to his knees, exiled, visioning a world where none is lonely, none hunted, alien, this man, superb in love and logic, this man shall be remembered, oh, not with statues, rhetoric, and with legends and poems and wreaths of bronze alone, but with the lives grown out of his life, the lives fleshing his dream of the beautiful, needful thing. How wonderful. Thank you. What an amazing poem. Yeah. I know. Wow. And what an amazing reading of it. And I'm thinking about how, you know, the whole thing about monuments and the monuments to the old, you know, Civil War heroes. And this is so important. And this man, uh, Robert Hayden, is saying that the greatest monument is the lives grown out of his lives, the lives fleshing his dream of the beautiful, needful thing. And that just makes me think of the tradition among Black families in the Black culture to bring somebody along and mm -hmm. that we live through what happens to our children and with our children in the future and how important that's been in what I was taught and what was taught to those before me.